hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer so in this video i'm covering two stories a one story of a 23 year old girl 23 year old girl that uh, scam people 150 million naira 23 anyways and then the story of the fourth wife this fourth wife story is not new but it's interesting right the story of a fourth wife that uh, used knife on the husband because he got somebody pregnant um, the 23 year old girl um, apparently was, uh, you know, this put her post uh, on Instagram or whatever and post and say, you know, shoes. She was, she was posting clothes, in, I think clothing and shoes and stuff like that. And uh, people were giving her money to, you know, giving her money, but she never sent these things. And then she claimed, let me read to you guys some of the things. I'm going to, this one is from Linda Ikeji. Online businesswoman arrested in Mina for allegedly defrauding over 100 people of 150 million naira. The Niger State Police Command has arrested an online businesswoman, Akino Wonu, I hope I didn't, I hope I called the name right, uh, Damilola Victoria, for allegedly defrauding over 100 people of 150 million. If you read down, I'm going to just scan through it. You can always go to Linda Ikeji and read the rest of it. But it says, uh, uh, um, the suspect deceived her victims that her goods were seized by the customs after they made orders. A case of cheating, criminal breach of trust, and internet-related offenses was referred to the, to the command from Magistrate Court Mina uh, on the 25th of May. Another thing I want to emphasize is that um, Nigerians were actually the ones that started reporting, making Facebook posts, internet, social media posts, and say, ah, this person took my money, I never got. They started reporting, reporting until, you understand? You see, and they were posting her, posting her all over social media. And then if you read down on uh, Linda Keji, the suspect was arrested with the help of the family. The family, her own family, <laughs> her own family, they must be good family now to want to you know, rat her out. He said, uh, uh, and during interrogation, she claimed to have been operating an online business for about a year ago. Via a link she discovered on Facebook by showcasing items such as female clothes, bags, shoes, uh, phones, laptops, and other electronic gadgets. She said that through this act, she was able to gather many customers online who usually place others for such items. I didn't want to read too much. You can always go to his, um, um, link I can't read the rest. So if you look, they even said she's posting fake certificates online. If you see some pictures of her, she looks as someone that is chopping life. She looks like, you understand? But the sad part is that this girl's story is going to affect some genuine, uh, um, legit business people. So this is why you can't blame some Nigerians that have problem with trusting people. Because this girl was trusted for people to have been giving her money and say, oh, we want to buy stuff online. Because some people actually sell online and they actually make their money. But people like this will give them a bad name. Another sad part is that these people may never get their money back. That's it. That money gone. Just like that. Gone. Isn't that sad? This is the post we were making. They were sharing all over. They said, please, if you see this lady anywhere, please kindly report her. Kindly, kindly report her. She ran away with millions of naira all in the name of pre-order she stole many people's money getting to 200 million and calling herself beams collections please if you see her anywhere please report right anyways so that's the story and then coming to the story of the woman that ended her husband's life because uh, he got a side chick pregnant and she is wife number four so a polygamous <laughs> is funny but it's not funny because somebody's life ended to imagine that a woman that you are number four first wife no para second wife no para third one is you that is number <laughs> you that is number four you that is number four unfaithfulness is I'm not, you guys know i can i hate unfaithfulness but let's be honest you that there are four of you as wives you took it upon yourself to carry it as a fight like you know so, how are you sure that that lover he has is not planning to recruit her to be wife number five, which is entitled to? Because if you believe in polygamy, you add, this is my thing. If you believe in polygamy, it means sharing the man. You don't determine when the numbers don't complete. You can't determine that. You see? So, and at the same time, I want to speak on about i want to speak about those that think you know uh, a man needs the wife a man need let me tell you guys people need to what's the word curb men need to curb their urges 
that's what the problem is because if you don't curb if you don't curb it it will go out of control if you don't control it it will begin to control you you know what it is dear let me tell you guys oh, i've said it men think they have typical nigerian men they think a lot of our nigerian men not all they think they have monopoly over unfaithfulness that women cannot be of it's a lie women can be unfaithful and when it comes to covering it women are as per hey. If a woman, do you know how many stories of women we heard that the four children they had in that marriage does not belong to the man, and the man did not know and already grown. There was a story that I don't know if I cover. I don't think I covered that story. I, I wanted to cover it, but I don't think I ended up covering it. This guy, I think in America, was trying to apply for a visa for his parents. Right in the process, I, I'm not too sure how the story went. They now had to do DNA or something like that. To apply for visa. I, I'm not very sure of the story. If I can find it, I will I attach it here so you guys can go and read it. And then they said, the guy said that when he now did you now found out that their father is not their father. And he made it, he made that post saying, How where do we go from here? Like what like he doesn't even know how to react, how to even tell their their father that they are the children of their mother, but they are not the children of their father. This man sent the children abroad, best education in the world. You think men have monopoly over unfaithfulness? It's a lie. But you see, our society to a great extent, when we're raising daughters, they are raising to, you're going to be a good wife, you're going to be wife material, you're going to be this. But they don't raise men to be good, to be this or that or that. So to a great extent, our women end up being, to a great extent, being raised well. To go into marriage and be faithful. But men are told, men are left to do whatever they like. It shows you that there's a big part that molding of a, a child as they're growing plays a big part. For our society frowns at female unfaithfulness and it, to a great extent helps our women to grow up with that mentality that this is terrible that you would do it. But, but when men are made to feel like, eh, yeah, 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 he's a man, yeah, he's not easy maker, yeah, men are unfaithful, mm, yeah, yeah, like, you know, what happens? This is what ends up happening. So I'm not supporting unfaithfulness, but I'm speaking about polygamy. I'm speaking about those that think that polygamy will solve the problem of unfaithfulness. It's a lie. He had four wives, yet he was unfaithful. Because why? Nobody is not, you know, our society does not make them think and realize that it is you that does not have self-control. You can control and say, that's not why I'm on earth. To just be sleeping left, right and center. You know what I mean? And this thing, I keep saying it. The snake between men's leg has destroyed, destroyed the lives of a lot of men because they let it. It has. This man is in the grave. Tell me, was that, was it worth it? Was it worth it? Let me say, I will never support a woman ending anybody ending anybody's life because of it. I will never support it. But I'm not speaking about from the, from the victim's perspective. And there's another story I covered as well. You know, it's still something similar on faithfulness and the son is beating up. Even that one too. You know, was it worth it at the end of the day? He lost his life for what? Because of the snake between your legs. The tiny flesh. When I say tiny, what do you mean tiny flesh? When I say tiny, compared to the size of your legs, how big is the snake? Compared to the size of your arms, how big is the snake? Compared to the size of your head. And do you know what I'm trying to say? How big is it that that tiny thing, in comparison to other part of your body, is why somebody's life just ended just like that? I don't know. Anyways, I saw those stories I wanted to share with you guys. So always, whatever your opinions are, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And um, with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.